Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss a new chapter which is basically based on mental healing in modern times. As we see these days people are really struggling a lot with their mental and psychological issues. So today I will talk about modern mental healing practices. So everyone is definitely concerned with the healing of bodily conditions and human affairs. What is it that heals? Where is this healing power? There are questions asked by everyone. The answer is that this healing power is in the subconscious mind of each person and a changed mental attitude on the part of sick person releases this healing power. No mental or religious science practitioner, psychologist, psychiatrist or medical doctor ever healed a patient. There is an old saying, the doctor heals the wound but God heals it. The psychologist and the psychiatrist proceeds to remove the mental box in the patient so that the healing principle may be released, restoring the patient to health. Likewise, the surgeon removes the physical block enabling the healing currents to function normally. No physician, surgeon or mental science practitioner claim that they healed the patient. The one healing power is called many by, by many names, nature, life, God, creative intelligence and subconscious power. As previously outlined, there are many different methods used to remove the mental, emotional and physical blocks which inhibit the flow of healing life principle animating all of us. The healing principle resident in your subconscious mind can and will if properly directed by you and some other person can heal your mind and body of all disease. This healing principle is operative in all men regardless of creed, color or race. You do not have to belong to some particular church in order to use and participate in this healing process. Your subconscious mind will heal the burn or the cut of your hand even though you profess to be an atheist or agnostic. The modern mental therapeutic procedure is based on the truth that the infinite intelligence and power of your subconscious mind responds according to your faith. The mental science practitioner or minister follows the injunction of Bible that is, he goes into the closet and shuts the door which means he stills his mind, relaxes, lets go and thinks of the infinite healing presence within him. He closes the door of his mind to all outside distractions as well as appearances and then he quietly and knowingly turns out his request or desire to his subconscious mind, realizing that the intelligence of his mind will answer him according to his specific needs. The most wonderful thing to know is this, imagine the end desired and feel its reality. Then the infinite life principle will respond to your conscious choice and your conscious request. This is the meaning to believe you have received and you shall receive. This is what the modern mental scientists do when he practices prayer therapy. One process of healing. There is only one universal healing principle operating through everything. The cat, the dog, tree, the grass, wind, the earth, for everything is alive. This life principle operates through the animal, vegetable and mineral kingdom as instinct and the law of growth. Man is consciously aware of this life principle and he can consciously direct it to bless himself in countless ways. There are many different approaches, techniques and methods in using the universal power. But is there only one process of healing which is faith? For according to your faith it is done unto you. The law of belief. All regions of this world represent forms of belief and these beliefs are explained in many ways. The law of life is belief. What do you believe about yourself, life and the universe? It is done unto you as you believe. Belief is a thought in your mind which causes the power of your subconscious to be distributed into all phases of your life according to your thinking habits. You must realize the Bible is not talking about your belief in some ritual ceremony form, institution, man or formula. It is talking about belief itself. The belief of your mind is simply the thought of your mind. If though can believe although are possible to him that believe. It is foolish to believe in something to hurt or harm you. 
रिमेंबर इट इज़ नॉट द थिंग बिलीव इन दैट हार्म्स और हार्म्स यू बट द बिलीव और थाट ऑफ इन योर माइंड विच क्रिएट्स द रिजल्ट ऑल योर एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑल योर एक्शंस एंड ऑल योर इवेंट्स एंड सर्कमस्टांसिस ऑफ योर लाइफ बट द रिफ्लेक्शंस एंड रिएक्शंस टू योर ओन थाट्स प्रेयर थेरेपी इज द कॉम्बाइंड फंक्शन ऑफ कॉन्शियस एंड सबकॉन्शियस माइंड साइंटिफिकली डायरेक्टेड प्रेयर थेरेपी इज द सिंक्रोनाइज हारमोनियस एंड इंटेलिजेंट फंक्शन of the conscious and subconscious levels of mind specifically directed for a definite purpose in scientific prayer or prayer therapy you must know what you are doing why you are doing it you trust the law of healing prayer therapy is sometimes referred to as mental treatment and another term is scientific prayer in prayer therapy you consciously choose a certain idea mental picture or plan which you desire to experience experience you realize your capacity to convey the idea or mental image to your subconscious by feeling the reality of the state assumed as you remain faithful to your mental attitude your prayer will be answered prayer therapy is a definite mental action for a definite specific purpose let us suppose that you decide to heal a certain difficulty by prayer therapy you are aware that your problem or sickness whatever it may be must be caused by negative thoughts charged with fear fear and lodged in your subconscious mind and that if you can succeed in cleansing your mind of these thoughts you will get a healing you therefore turn the healing power within your subconscious mind and remind yourself of its infinite power and intelligence and its capacity to heal all conditions as you dwell on these truths your fear will begin to dissolve and the recollection of these truths also corrects the erroneous beliefs you give thanks for the healing that you know will come and then you keep your mind off the difficulty until you feel guided after an interval to pray again while you are praying you absolutely refuse to give any power to the negative conditions or to admit for a second that the healing will not come this attitude of mind brings about the harmonious union of the conscious and subconscious mind which releases the healing power faith healing what it means and how blind faith works what is popular popularly termed faith healing is not the faith mentioned in the bible which means the knowledge of the interaction of the conscious and subconscious mind a faith healer is one who heals without any real scientific understanding of the powers and forces involved he may claim that he has a specific gift of healing and the sick person's blind belief in him or his powers may bring results the wadi doctor in south africa and other parts of world may heal by in incantations or a person may be healed by touching the so called bones of saints or anything else which cause the patients to honestly believe in the method method or the process any method which causes you to move from fear and worry to faith and expectant and expectancy will heal there are many persons each of whom claims because of his personal theory produces results it is therefore the correct one this as already explained in this chapter cannot be true to illustrate how blind faith works you will recall recall our discussion of the french physician in 1776 he claimed many cures when he stroked diseased bodies with artificial magnets later on later on he threw away his magnets and evolved the theory of animal magnetism thus he held to be a fluid which pervades the universe but in more active in the human organism he claimed that the magnetic fluid which was going forth from him to the patients healed them people flocked to him and many wandering cures were effected mesmerist moved move and then while there the government appointed a commission composed of physicians and members of the academic science of which to investigate his cures the report admitted the leading facts claimed by mesmer but held that there was no evidence to prove the correctness of his magnetic fluid theory and said the effects were due to his imagination of the patient 
Soon after this, Masueras was driven into exile. So let's at the end, describing about the mental healings in the modern times. So the first point goes something like this. We'll completing up with the summary. First, find out what it is that heals you. Realize that correct directions given to your subconscious mind will heal your mind and body. Number two, develop a definite plan for turning over your requests or desire to your subconscious mind. Number three, Imagine the end desired and feel its reality. Follow it through and you will get definite results. Decide what belief is. Know that belief is a thought in your mind and what you think you create. It is foolish to believe in sickness and something to hurt or to harm you. Believe in perfect health, prosperity, peace, wealth and divine guidance. Great and noble thoughts upon which you habitually dwell become great acts. Number 7. Apply the power of prayer therapy in your life. Choose a certain plan, idea or mental picture mentally and emotionally. Unite with that idea and as you remain faithful to your mental attitude, your prayer will be answered. Number 8. Always remember, if you really want the power to heal, you can have it through faith which means a knowledge of the working of your subconscious and conscious mind. Faith comes from understanding. Number 9. Blind faith means that a person may get results in healing without any scientific understanding of the powers and forces involved. Number 10. Learn to pray for your loved ones who may be ill. Quiet your mind and thoughts of health, vitality and perfection operating through the one universe subjective mind will be felt and resurrected to the mind of a loved one. Thank you so much for listening.